Uh, I'm Josh Sansis. Um, I'm the artist who created Or the Whale. This actually is a half size digital print of the original. Uh, How big the, is the original? The original is the, the same size as a full size sperm whale and it's 51 feet long. This one is 24. Uh, some of these panels over here are actually origi the original scratch board drawings that you can see. It, they're, it's about half size of the original. I made this for a show at the Richmond Art Center a few months ago. Uh, it basically came from my interest in, in Moby Dick and rereading it again and starting to think about Trump as Ahab and all of us on the Pequod. Um, but basically, in, in the whale is the history of capitalism since 1850. So it starts here. This is basically miners and loggers. These are, these are turn of the century child miners from Pennsylvania. Uh, you can see there's, there's black lung people here, actually actual lungs. Again, people doing mining and it's an offshore oil well rig. And you can see from the, from the uh, loggers, there's, you know, a fire. This is um, uh, an open pit mine. This is uh, Rockefeller. This is where he discovered oil in, I think, 1850, which really changed. Whale oil went from being the most valuable commodity to once oil was discovered, it became not so important quickly. It was save the whales. It, it well, it did at the time, and and it was a and the reason the whale oil was one of the few lubricants that could actually lubricate the gears of you know heavy steam-driven machinery. So then it goes into Native Americans. This is actually an image uh, from the 1600s, which is, which is the slaughter of the Pequods, which is what Melville named the boat after. And they were actually the first uh, native tribe that was completely annihilated. And uh, the Narragansett Indians who fought with the pilgrims to, against the Pequods were shocked at how brutal the the white Europeans were and basically killed all of them, which was something they hadn't done. Ge genocide. Complete genocide, yeah. Um, then it goes into this. So this is also, as well as about the exploitation of materials, it's also about the exploitation of workers. The most exploited workers, uh, the slaves to the Americas as a slave ship. Um, there's some ethnic notions here of both Native Americans and um, African Americans. This picture of lynching. These are mostly new immigrant labor. This actually is a turn of the century picture of a, a sweatshop. Uh, you can see all the traffic and Henry Ford, our favorite Nazi, and one of and his and again traffic as a major contributor to pollution and grid pollution. Yes, exactly. So then you go into now we get into. Here, there's hurricanes and storm damage, the, the melting glaciers. Um, again, environmental, a, a shot from, actually from paradise uh, after it burned. You can see all the, there's a tremendous amount. I think I, I drew about 500, 700 plastic bottles in that section. Um, and kind of going into um, industrial, uh, agriculture and farming. Um, this is uh, J.P. Pierpoint Morgan, um, and he's kind of leading into the Civil War and then World War I and World War II. He was actually one of the first to really profiteer from, from war sales, and I think he bought up every rifle in the United States for $2.50 and sold it to the Union Army for $27. Profiteering from war. Yes, absolutely. So, and again, it goes down. This is actually the entrance to Auschwitz, and you can recognize Hitler and Mussolini, kamikaze pilot. Uh, then going down into Vietnam with, you know, the Kent State and uh, uh, Abu Ghraib. So I'm kind of, again, I'm covering a lot of ground in this whale. In, in some ways, and you can see now it's going, so this is going through uh, women's suffrage, um, Susan B. Anthony and Elizabeth Cady Stanton, 
women demonstrators, a number of different things, including anti-war. Uh, then going down, these are all refugees from different places, from starting off from Palestine, then into Europe. This is actually uh, um, uh, boat refugees from, this is the wall in San Diego. Uh, these are North, uh, North African refugees. So it just goes through, and then it goes kind of into suffrage, into California, and that's, um, that's Leland Stanford. And I, I put him over the dead last grizzly bear in California. Um, and then this is a, a Moybridge picture of, of Pig in Motion, which Stanford paid for Moybridge to shoot his pictures. Uh, going down into pipelines and oil transport. Um, and then as we come here, we go across, and then there's, there's all the Chinese laborers who actually did build the railroad, even though it was funny, I had a picture of them where, they, where the railroads joined, and there was hundreds of people in the picture, not a single Chinese person. And they, in fact, made up the, the, the vast majority of the workers. S sanitation of history. Right, yes. So then again, going into you know California, and then the computer age, kind of begun here. Steve Jobs. Um, this one section here, these are actually my grandchildren, and it's the one kind of uplifting part of the mural. Um, this is us. Every how the whales came about for the last four years, we've spent time in Baja around the holidays and spend a lot of time. And all of these kids have seen and got very close to whales, which is what started me thinking about whales and, and the environment. And this is my kind of explanation to them why I think things are as screwed up as they are. So, and then- It's kind of a history of the world. So well, and, and part, part of the world. Well, and again, it's, it's I, I base some of it, a lot of the thinking started reading C.L.R. James's book on Moby Dick, and he, he, he sees the whole thing as a metaphor of, of capitalism. And so that was the departure point for me to begin doing the artwork. Um, then again, going, you know, fun, religious fundamentalism was really funny. I put the Three Stooges in between a, a, a Hasidic and a, a, a radical fundamentalist Muslim, and this is Oral Roberts doing a healing. And I, as a joke, I kind of put the Three Stooges in the middle, and I actually got an email from a guy who does the Three Stooges newsletter, and he was a little offended, and he wanted an explanation of why I was putting his guys in the front end. Yes. So then this is actually a Trump rally, and I hope people notice the, the teeth and hairdos of the, well, particularly the teeth. I, I meant them to look similar to the teeth of the al alligator down below. Um, then again, this is a Klan rally of a women's march as part of the Klan rally in Richmond, and I think it was in the, in the 50s. Most people don't know the Klan were in Richmond. Yeah, they did march in Richmond. And then again, the stock exchange, rich. And then again, then civil rights. I didn't want it to be completely dark, so this, this section is about civil rights, both uh, Black Panther Party, Black Panther Party, Martin Luther King, uh, Harvey Milk. Um, then again, this goes into homelessness, and again, the rich, this is actually Mar-a-Lago. Um, this is um, Mick Jagger's ex-wife who married Rupert Murdoch. Um, what's her name? Hall, Jerry Hall. And again, the wealthy going into the homeless and kind of desperate. And I compared, this was a, a recent picture of a young homeless woman, and I juxtaposed it with, uh, with the, um, yeah. So from the from the 30s so again go on the Flint water tower pollution plastic pollution um, and then offshore oil rigs this is actually this is a picture of the last whaling station in the United States which was in Richmond California it was closed in 71 and so um, and that's kind of it